Hey, what's up? Jason here from Unity3D.College. So, yesterday there was an official blog post that announced the uh, Unity Hub beta, and I've been using it since I saw the post. Just grabbed it, downloaded it, been trying it out for the last day. I just wanted to record a quick video on what I've seen with it so far, and then um, kind of recommend it to people where it makes sense. So, some developers like myself end up working in a bunch of different versions of Unity. You know, working on different projects, and some some are in 5.6, some are in 2017. Sometimes they're playing around in the the newer betas, and then uh, you know sometimes they're just very specific versions for a project, and that project can't be upgraded. If you're not in that situation, the Unity Hub's probably not that useful for you, right? It's really helpful for launching projects that are in different versions and making that simple. So the way it works, once you install it, you can put in uh, any existing installs that you have. So I have a 5.6. 4 and 5.6.0. Oh. The uh, numbers here are a little buggy. I think it's only on Windows. On Mac, I think it shows the correct name here. So it's like P2 and P1, I think. Something like that. I don't remember the exact ones. Um, and then if you want to install new releases, you can go to official releases and install any of the 2017 or the beta release for 2018. They don't have the uh, 5.6 releases in here. I don't know if that's intentional or if it's coming or if they just plan on not supporting and pushing for older versions. Anyway, once you have that set up, you've got the hub installed, super simple, just click next a couple times. You'll be able to open it and you'll see all of your projects here. And if you look, you'll see that these have the version number of Unity that they're for. And there's a, even a little drop down here to open with a specific version. But if I just click on it, it's going to open in the correct version. So I don't have to worry about, did I open it with the right version of Unity? Did I you know, launch 2017 and open a 5.6 app? not an issue anymore. It's been an issue. It's kind of a time waster and a little bit annoying, especially if you open it in the wrong version and it starts re-importing assets. And then you know, on a bigger project, that can be a bit of a nightmare. You got to go in and kill it and stuff. So anyway, I'm a big fan of this so far. Um, I said I've only been using it for a day, but it seems to work great. It just loads up the projects and the right thing. And I just kind of leave it running all day now. I don't, you know, don't ever launch Unity manually anymore, at least not in the last 24 hours. Uh, I definitely recommend trying it out. It works on Mac and PC, and it's, like I said, huge time saver for me. Well, you know, saves me a couple minutes multiple times a day from opening up the wrong version. And it's good enough. It's nice. Um, definitely recommend it. So if you liked the video, don't forget to uh, subscribe, like, and all that stuff. Share with your friends, and thanks for watching.